you've heard this before because it comes, of course, after failed bids in 2016 and 2018. The opposition often led by the late L. Brooks Patterson. Rod Maloney was at today's announcement. Uh, Rod, a conspicuous absence today that was not Patterson's Oakland County. Well, no, it was Mark Hackle's Macomb County, and it's a situation where Macomb County believes they have the mass transit that they need in the smart system, and so they're going to stick with that for the time being. In the meantime, it is, as you said, sort of a, uh, if you can't succeed, try and try again, and that's where we are, but they think they've got bipartisan support this time. Unlike much of the major American cities, and because we're Motown, Metro Detroit depends largely on buses for mass transit, and it's totally inadequate to Wayne County Executive Warren Evans. We need transit. It's not just for employees or students or residents. Businesses and corporations need workers, and they need to retain and attract talent to stay competitive. So Wayne, Washtenaw, and Oakland counties are teaming up looking to Lansing to change state laws to make it easier for them to ask voters to fund modern mass transit. But it's massively expensive, and repeatedly Metro Detroit voters have said no, in particular North Oakland County. New Oakland County Executive David Coulter says this effort needs to take a different approach than in 2016. I think if I was a, a resident of Independence Township, I might not have voted for it either. I just don't think the value is there. So we have an opportunity, and we're still working out the details, to, to increase the value that they see in transit options. But this announcement today doesn't start a ballot initiative. That comes down the line. This is a watershed moment. Right now, SMART director John Hertel is excited about the new leadership ready to take on this controversial issue. And so when you see this kind of cooperation, you're moved by it because I've been fighting this fight for decades. Now, they're looking to Jared Shepard uh, of Monroe County, who was the main sponsor up in Lansing, to help them figure out how it is that they can more clearly target the money for this and make it so that many voters who have voted against it in the past will have reason to vote for it this time. Devin, back to you. Rod, back to Macomb County, and you mentioned their position against uh, being a part of this. Just as simple as they feel like they've got all they need? Well, you know, remember that Mark Hackle has said all along that he feels and, and felt in many ways that this is kind of a Detroit money grab or Metro Detroit yep. money grab yep. uh, to get mass transit paid for by the out counties. He also is trying to build a jail. And so therefore, he probably doesn't want to have competing uh, bond issues on the ballot there. And I think that's playing into it yeah. as well. Really good insight there. All right, Rod.